Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a hot cathode ionization gauge, or ion gauge. First, let's talk about what an ion gauge is and what it does. An ion gauge is an instrument used to measure levels of high vacuum, from about 1 times 10 to the negative 3rd tor to 1 times 10 to the negative 8th tor. Newer gauges can read even lower amounts. The gauges cannot work at atmospheric pressures because the oxygen in the atmosphere would burn out the filament. The pressures you see here are only relative because I've not calibrated the gauge yet. An ion gauge works by counting gas particles in a vacuum. The less particles, the better the vacuum. A filament's heated to a point where electrons are no longer bound to the atoms they came from. A potential of about 150 volts pulls the electrons towards a spiral grid where they are further accelerated. If a molecule of air, which is mostly nitrogen, wanders into the gauge, it will become ionized by the free electrons. This ion will then be attracted to the collector, where it will cause a small amount of current to flow. This current is directly proportional to pressure. Because of the ions present, the gauge will actually glow at low pressures. Here you can see me turning on a turbo molecular pump. I'm borrowing this one from the university, so it might not be in future videos. This pump works kind of like a jet engine, where spinning blades compress air molecules to a point where they can be pulled away by the roughing pump. The blades in this turbo pump spin at 72,000 RPM. That's 1,200 rotations per second. The noise you heard when I started the pump was the high frequency signal to the motor. Now I'm turning the turbo pump off. The final pressure according to my ion gauge was 3.4 times 10 to the negative fifth. That's 450 million times lower than atmospheric pressure. This part is sped up by eight times. You'll see that the gauge automatically shuts off if the pressure gets too high. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to see in the future.